This video is talking about the rotate extrude command in OpenSCAD and right now I have just a polygon that's showing here and uh, you can actually see this polygon in the documentation but I thought I'd just uh, talk about this a little bit. So remember polygons are 2D objects and this will work with any 2D object um, with polygons, circles, squares, text, uh, anything that's a 2D object you can use the rotate extrude command on. Uh, so right now I just have this polygon sitting here uh, on the x-axis and essentially what's going to happen, uh, I've got another copy down here, is we're going to rotate that uh, polygon. Right now it's kind of oriented along this y-axis so I'm just going to um, rotate it around the x-axis so it's it's facing up on top of the x-axis. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so there's this guy right here and then what's going to happen with the rotate extrude is this is just going to get uh, wrapped around uh, the z-axis that's right there. So it's sort of like two rotations, uh, a rotate upward um, around the x and then a rotate around the z uh, for that guy. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that in see what happens so if I do a rotate extrude and I'm just gonna hide this for now and we get uh, this object right here which is our original object uh, had the two points right there uh, just wrapped around that Z axis and you can make it smoother uh, with your face number command so uh, or not smooth if you only want six polygons you can restrict it to six or if you want uh, 60 if you want it smoother going around uh, then that'll be more circular so uh, face number also works in there depending on your version uh, right now I'm running 215.03 uh, there is one other command that you can do so if I want say not to rotate it all the way but let's say just halfway then I could do angle equals 180 and if you're running 216 or later, so this won't work out mine, um, then you can do that and it'll just rotate halfway around instead of all the way around. Uh, you can still type it in 215, it won't really affect anything, um, doesn't know what to do with it. So uh, this only works, like I said, in version 2016 or later. Um, for those guys and you can get that from the download page but you do have to kind of scroll down uh, to be able to find those. Uh, one other thing that um, you might want to think about when using the rotate extrude command is just where your object is and how it's going to get rotated so if I want to put a translate in here as well and we'll go ahead and hide this for now. Uh, so translate Let's say we'll move it over four in the x direction uh, and let's also go say negative two in the y direction. Uh, it's a 2D object so no no z command on the translate um, for this polygon. So now this is my polygon it was up here now it's over four down two uh, so it's laying over here. And what's going to happen is this is going to rotate around the x like I said and then go around the the Z. Um, so now I try doing a rotate extrude. Uh, it'll look very similar to before on the outside edge but now we have this big hole in the middle because we're still rotating around the Z. Uh, we're four units off of the Z axis so we get that big hole in the middle on that guy. Uh, so it'll rotate from whatever location it's at. Uh, you can be above or below the Y axis that doesn't really matter. Um, I'll just rotate it all the way around. Now one thing you do have to watch out for is let's go ahead and take this off again. So let's say instead of uh, moving over four let's say I just move to the left negative one. All right. Um, now this object right here it's got part of it on the right side part of it on the left side. Um, the rotate extrude is going to get confused by that so if you try something that's on both sides of the x-axis uh, then it's just not going to know what to do with that so when I try rotate extrude 
really nothing happens. Sometimes you'll get an error that says um, you have x coordinates that uh, are on both sides, so basically negatives and positives, and it just doesn't know what to do uh, with that. Uh, so this really isn't going to work. If I try maybe putting the y's back, um, yeah, there's my error now. Uh, so all points for rotate extrude must have the same x coordinate sign. Um, right now it tells you your range is negative 1 to 2. Um, so it's got some negative, some positive. That's not going to work. Uh, now you can go, let's say, negative 5 um, entirely to the left side of the axis. And let's go ahead and take off the rotate, see what's going on. Uh, so now I'm entirely on the left side of the of the y-axis. Over here where x's are negative. And let's go ahead and do the same thing down here. Uh, I think it'll help see what's going on. So this is a translate where it's negative 5, 0. Alright. Uh, and this is the object that's now going to get rotated around that Z axis. So now it gets rotated around. Uh, it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on in the middle. Uh, but let's go ahead and put the percent sign, kind of make it see through. Uh, so you can tell this is now my object that's getting rotated around the Z axis. So we have kind of this uh, downward slant uh, into a hole that's right there. And then there's going to be this. Um, hole in the middle that's uh, where that gap is located uh, right there and then kind of this upward slant on the bottom of it so it's a little bit hard to, to tell exactly what's going on um, without the transparency um, just trying to, to look inside uh, get a good perspective on it it's a little bit tough but uh, that is what it looks like it's just that same shape that we have now just with the points facing inward toward the axis of rotation. So uh, so that's basically it for rotate extrude. If you're running 215 uh, or earlier, you're just going to get a 360 all the way around. If you're running 216 or later, you can also change the angle, uh, get partial rotation. Um, but it's, it's always those 2D objects kind of flipped upright on top of the x-axis and then rotated around the z. All right, so that's it.